Welcome back to the Empire Wizard, and today's date we're gonna go all over all four, all five lands, and of course, go into some deeper dives of the Dark Universe because that was the newest land revealed. And I'll link that full video up on the top right corner when we get to that land. Yeah, lots of great progress has been happening, and let's go ahead and start with the hotel because, uh, or no, let's go ahead and start with Celestial Park because this good stuff has been happening over there. We have the central area of Celestial Park. You see all the water features have water in them with testing happening at the astronomica i think that's what the astronomica splash pad not fully uh finished yet but you have the the uh, linings of the water fountains there they'll be you know splashing you and of course celeste uh the constellation carousel looks absolutely gorgeous with its gold uh coloring there we'll get to that a little bit later here's a look at the atlantic restaurant it just has a little bit of scaffolding left but all the painting looks to be done and the large uh, glass windows, blue, blue glass windows, are complete, which is great. Looking at the Meteor Astro Pub, you have um, it's almost done as well. That is almost looks like what it could be like a center bar area. I'm not sure that that's what it's going to be, but it looks looks like it. Nevertheless, if that is a center bar area, you'll have a fantastic view of the water fountain and the fountain show at nighttime and during the day. And the Meteor Astro Pub in general. Should have a nice view of that uh, when you're on the inside. Here's again that look at that constellation carousel. Look how gorgeous that is. It's beautiful gold colors and the blue. This is absolutely great. Remember just a few months ago, this is all white. So you got the primer ready for the paint. But now it just looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that. There's even like shades of purple in between each little archway. That looks really, really good. I really love that color scheme, especially at the top there. It, uh, this, I can't wait to see this in person, but this looks really, really good. Better than the concept art, I even think. Here's just a closer look. I mean, look at that. Look at the, again those colorings. Uh, and then the top there. Um, that's painted that kind of dark blue slash purple. Uh, uh, yeah, this is very, very good. And here are the two new restaurants being built that, again, may or may not be ready by the opening of Epic Universe. Probably won't. Probably open like shortly after. Maybe just a few months after, but these questions are progressing quite nicely. Steel is up, and I think this will just be one story, so who knows? They can go pretty quickly here. Look at this. This is the highlight right here. This is why this is the thumbnail. Here's the Kronos. The Kronos has been topped off, and it's ready to go. It has the gold toppings right there. It has a symbol for each land, the medallion for Super Nintendo World, the How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Work, um, Sphere there, Dark Universe Sphere in purple and uh, the Wizarding World, uh, the medallion at the top there. And there's space for more lands down below because I saw someone on Twitter ask, um, you know, what happens when they want to expand? And uh, Lisa Stella said there are more, there's more space for uh, more lands below. They can just move that bottom sphere or bottom half circle down a little bit lower each time. It's designed to be removed and replaced with more lands, which is pretty awesome. Here's a... Started from the back side, and this is uh, there's still a topper to be put on, but it looks just very, very good. Shadows of Bio reconstruct again for all these fantastic photos. Moving over to the dark universe, the land which got lots of cool details on, and I'll link that video up above to the top right corners if you want to see those full details. But here's the curse of the rare wolf coaster with a very impressive animatronic, or I have two of them actually. Um, inside that barn and swing lodge and very nice themed queue. There'll be some more um, some colorful tents um, being installed on top of the supports for the queue as the months go on. There's the Burning Blade Tavern. We did find out info that this uh, blade will be in fact be on fire every 20 minutes or so. So you should be able to catch it definitely if you're eating or chilling at the bar or just hanging out in that area or even lying for the Curse of the Werewolf because it's right there. You should be able to see the blades catch on fire at least once, which is pretty awesome. Here's the village of Darkmoor, and we'll go a couple spots in here. This is that area where you know, there's maybe a little fountain, and as you come out of the village and into the manor and the ride section and of the land, here's that iconic, well now iconic, this is the beautiful concept art entrance to Darkmoor. When you come past the cemetery, you come through this kind of little, it's like a little rock gate, I call it. It's like, kind of like a grand entranceway. And that sign, the Darkmoor sign, will actually be on that rock work there. Over at the Monsters Unchained Manor, you can see some toppers being installed and being painted. Look at those beautiful black colors right there. 
grand entrance this key will be absolutely gorgeous to have some statues of victorious frankenstein and maybe even an animatronic or two with her but this ride will be incredible with such a realistic animatronic it'll blow your minds they should have just a small clip of it in that video um they premiered so cannot wait for this attraction next year the front of the attraction looks great here's another shot and again waiting for that topper piece which will be electrified with lightning see those each of those four poles at the top of there will be um have electricity and they'll be uh having some blue lightning which will course throughout the entire land which will ignite from the coil the portal so really uh, this lightning has a story to tell as well which is incredible here's the actual front gate that says frankenstein also those toppers are being painted black and it looks just really very good i just cannot wait for this land this is definitely my most anticipated land of the entire resort and just one last look over the beautiful dark universe area and look how just that big that show what is going to be this be a kooka arm ride system like harry potter and the forbidden journey the many more animatronics and actually to be exact 15 animatronics um and just screens led screens in the back to help the scene so uh, that's pretty awesome let's go to the grand helios hotel they're working on the last topper of its own look at that everything else is gold this should be gold in a second but they are also salty sun structure the helios you know, helios means sun the sun icon at the top of the hotel and they're still working on the last level there but the rest of it looks just about done here's another look at the uh, top level from this side looks very very good you can see some sheathing still on some uh like the maybe bar area or the lounge area because there's still some windows underneath that last dome there decided that'll be a beautiful view from whatever that is Let's go over to the Isle of Right on the Isle of Burke, you can see the Toothless animatronic has been unveiled. There's just a little bit closer look of it. I think we did this in a previous update, but here's Toothless cranking you on on the first launch on Wickup's Hiccup's Wing Glider. I just keep calling him Toothless, but he's actually Hiccup. Toothless is here, but just in a different location. Here's the out the extended queue for the Hiccup's Wing Glider closer. Coaster. Looks like it'll be indoors, or not, uh, yeah, indoors, which would be quite nice. Um, on this outdoor portion here, which is cool. So glad Epic Universe will have lots of indoor sections of the coasters or of the queues because again, it is hot in Florida. Here's Dragon Racers Rally. Here's the queue starting to be formed for that. It's very early, really early going. So you can see some kind of footer, footers, all those white things on the ground. We like footers for the queue. Um, so I'm not sure if this will be of one queue and then you'll get split into either a uh, red beagle or if you. A pendulum will have two separate keys, but we'll have to see. Looks like so far, I think it's gonna be one key, and that'll be split in between each. But yeah. we'll see. We'll have to see how they uh, utilize that space there. Here is on the second launch from Dragon Eggs. More Dragon Eggs, including a man working on or just worker working on something, painting and placing this purple dragon egg, dragon egg, which is really cool. And some, let's see, eggs have hatched. So maybe there'll be some animatronic dragons um, on either side. Some baby dragons we'll have to see. And here is the play area. Well, an area next to the play area over here from the Viking Training Campus to the north. We have this little small area, which may be a retail location or meet and greet location um, to the south here, overlooking the coaster and the pond. And still waiting for some toppers on the queue. And uh, but there's a structure still being built right over here. It all is racing towards completion with its several entrances, including Lolly's Lolly's Cave. Cave openings here. It looks like the grand entrance. There's a path going to the grand entrance there, but I'm sure we'll be able to open now these caves as well, secondary entrances or exits. Here's Toothless all wrapped up in that second launch for the roller coaster. Looks fantastic. And now let's go to Mario Town, aka Super Nintendo World. Super Nintendo World's getting more and more color each and every time. Now it's starting to look like a version of ours. There's the Bowser Jr. section for when you get all three keys and the Thwomp game. As well as some other mini games under development as well. Here's Peach's Castle looking all good as that's the first primer coat of painting on, but one of the turrets now is sheathing on it and it's getting ready for its next coat of paint. Bowser's Castle is actually under construction. Lots of turrets, about all the turrets, oh, except for the main one is on, are on, and uh, Mario Motors, everything is still all in gray. It's initial primer paint, but we'll get more touch ups and final colors soon. Look at all those construction workers on site. A lot of coloring will be coming to Super Nintendo World in the coming months. Over at Donkey Kong Country, you can see things are progressing quite nicely here. You have the the um, gold area where that face is. This is the, the back the end of that. Um, that 
is nice and installed. You have the another look at the spike area, even more area of this is painted. They covered up the track here as they're painting. See, I don't want to mix the black color track with the new, but the new paint job they're gonna paint that the that gray section will be probably be gold. And yeah, then we can't wait to see it testing over here. Speaking of testing, here are a Donkey Kong minecart by the Screaming Pillars. Knowing it's initial or not initial, but doing a test run. So you can see that's going pretty well. And the Screaming Pillars, I'm sure, will be making noise as you go by by them. And here is the area by the backstage entrance to the land and actual entrance to the land. The entrance to the land uh, will be it's kind of off screen, but this is be that the plane gift shop area. I forgot what it's called, but it's be themed as the plane. And uh, there'll be a gift shop kind of right when you come into the land itself. But the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, a lot of work going on on the city streets. This is the um, street that when you come right on in, there'll be a large phoenix going to the Epic Universe model that just appeared to be a large gold phoenix on this side of the uh, archway. It look very, very cool. But look how tall. Again, these things are five stories tall. These facades, insane. It's really fully immersed in this land. Over at the front, lots of landscaping continues to um, go on in, as well as pavement and work. They're continuing really hard to work on the, the pavement, uh, the groundwork, and the landscaping. So I cannot wait to see what this looks like when it's all done in just a few short weeks. Over on this side of the land, lots of just detailing. A lot of detailing. These you know, facades are very cool. They're very good Parisian facades, but they're also not boring facades. There's lots of artwork because it's Paris, right? It's lots of artwork. It's happening. You know, they're digging here on the uh, the pavement, and we're gonna show you some more. Look at this: some nice artwork, some pink, blues, and these cool designs. And there's another cool design in the corner there. Really, really cool. And that is that steel here is this gonna be a circus tent as an entrance to the lands show. And here's an overview of the whole area of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And it just looks very, very active, very small, but very tall, very active. Um, with workers and yeah, July 31st is the rumor day. We'll hear details on this land. But we may not hear any more details on the ride as that is going to be a show stopping experience. And they may want to keep that towards closer towards opening day. That's going to do it for this week's Epic Universe video. Thank you guys for watching and joining. What is your most anticipated land? We heard lands uh, details for almost all of them. We just have Wizarding World of Harry Potter next. Is, is, can nothing beat Dark Universe for you? What is the most anticipated land? Let me know in the comments below. And look, at the, what do you think about the progress? Let me know in the comments below as well. If you want to help support the channel and get early access to videos like this one, press that join button below to become a channel member. And depending on the tier you get, you get early access to videos like this one, plus a whole bunch of other perks. Otherwise, go ahead and check out the Patreon for uh, news and info there, as well as my social media accounts. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. And as well, have an epic day.